if you are an Oracle Fusion user and thinking, is that a better way to export data directly from ERP to Excel or PowerPoint in a tabular or graph format that allows you to apply Microsoft formatting options and also refresh the data frequently. If you are looking for this, I welcome you to the YouTube playlist where you will be learning how to connect OTBI dashboard analysis to PowerPoint and Microsoft Excel using Smart View. This is the first video in the series. In this video, I will be talking about the installation of Smart View and environment connection. In the upcoming videos, I will be talking about various views and the formatting option with respect to the Smart View that is available. So let's start with the download option. You need to navigate to the Financial Reporting Center in the, your environment. Click on the task and go to Open Workspace for Financial Reports. A separate window will open. In that window, click on Tools, Install Smart View. It will navigate to the Oracle website. This is the URL. You can directly paste this URL in your browser and click on the Download Now button. It will prompt you the username and password for the Oracle support. Please log in that. Once your credentials are validated, you need to select which platform you have on your current system. Mine is 64, so I have selected 64 for the download. Then click on I review the agreement and then click on the download. Now this will initiate the Oracle downloader. So download installer, you need to install on your system. I have installed on the downloads. Once that is installed, you need to run it and this will download a zip file on your system. Once the download is complete, extract it. So currently this is the latest March 23 version that is available. Once the download is completed, click on the Smart View extension. Please ensure there are no Microsoft Office applications such as Excel, PowerPoint, Word or Outlook is running. So that will not work. You need to close all this Microsoft Office applications. So I have double clicked on the Smart View exe. It will pop up for the navigation. So for me, it's C drive is fine. So now it is preparing to install. This may take few minutes based on your system configuration. So let's wait. Okay, so that's completed. Now let's open any of the Microsoft application. I'm starting Excel and here you should see the HST bar. So let's see in the option add-in. So at the top, you may be able to see this part view add-in is available. Also, let's cross check one more things. In the add-in, now you can see this HST bar add-in is available and also in the com add-in, this particular office, Oracle Smart View for Office should be enabled. In the option, there are no checkboxes are there. So I need to check for update, close and now you can see here the installation is required, specifically this one I will need. Optionally I will use this one but for connection smart view this is not required. Okay, let me restart. So now it has been restarted. Now let's see the smart view, panels, private connections, create new connections. Now we see here the Oracle BIEE -E extension. So this is the extension we need to use to connect OTB analysis with the Microsoft applications. URL, go to your environment where this particular analysis are saved 
and remember to copy up to this analytics part and paste the URL analytics and then just add the word JBIPS at the end finish now the login skip window is appearing I will be using company single sign on or if you have username password you can enter those once the credentials are verified you can give the name just like I can say test environment save ok so now the test environment will be available and now I can navigate to the folder where my analysis or dashboard are stored smart view and for that let me check take it from unpaid invoices so this is chart and table let's insert as an excel pivot table so there are various options these options are available now I can do my own formattings number formats fair I think this is one of the way where I inserted the pivot table another options like the chart insert as image or insert now this will insert as a chart so now this chart also is editable like I don't want this I don't need this one put it down reflecting the sorting orders Remove the tick marks. Oh. Gap width. So even the colors. It's like so, all these formatting options are now available, and once you want to refresh or reuse it. You will be able to see now this Oracle BI extension and this refresh button. So click on this refresh and the data will get refreshed here. The latest data which is available for all the unpaid amount that will be available on this particular Excel file. So you can see that on refreshing the format still remain as this. Let's summarize these steps. We downloaded the Smart View from Oracle site. Then we have installed the Smart View. Thereafter, we added the Oracle BI add-ins. Then we created the environment connection as a private by adding the URL GBIPS. And thereafter, we were able to insert Excel pivot table and chart to the X Microsoft Excel file. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the new videos about this topic. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.